Hey everyone, Grzegorz Baran here. Polarization filters can be very useful to get rid of glare from objects we are trying to capture. Depending on overall filter's quality, amount of light they block, their color purity and lack of cross-surface distortion, polarization filters can be pretty expensive. Hopefully, if we consider recycling, there are ways to get them almost for free, and this is the video about it. Phenomenon of polarization is commonly used in our world. One of areas where polarization filters are very common are LCD computer or LCD TV screens. They use the phenomenon of cross-polarization to display the actual image. In detail, cross-polarization is used here to control the level of brightness of each individual pixel. Each LCD screen is basically made of four key components. The first one is the black light panel. It's the source of an actual solid light which illuminates the screen from behind and kicks in as soon as the screen is being turned on. The light from the screen passes through the next component, which is a large screen size polarization filter. Light, when passes through this polarization sheet, gets polarized under a certain angle. The next panel the light passes through is the actual heart of each LCD screen, a panel made of millions of liquid crystals. Each individual crystal is responsible for one color value of each individual pixel and is controlled by small transistor. Depending on the voltage level applied to each crystal, the light passes through it unchanged or with twisted polarization angle. At the end of the crystal, the light gets colorized by color filter into one of three colors, red, green or blue, and all of these put together form a single pixel. The entire screen is usually made of millions of these aligned together in even rows and columns. Next, after the colorized light leaves the screen of liquid crystals, it hits the second polarization filter. This polarization filter is angled under 90 degrees to the first one, therefore fully blocks all the light passing through the first one if its polarization angle was left unchanged. And here is the thing. If liquid crystals just let the light pass through unchanged, the second polarization filter, since angled 90 degree to the previous polarization filter, blocks the entire light passing through and appears black for user. But if liquid crystals change the direction of light polarization, the light passes through and appears bright. The more polarization angle was changed to the polarization angle of the first filter, the more light passes through the second filter filter and the brighter it gets. And basically that's it. The brightness of each pixel of any LCD screen is managed by phenomenon of cross-polarization and this is why LCD screens can look black if seen through polarization filter under a certain angle. The relevant to us thing in this video is that from the recycling point of view, the liquid crystal glass sheet is sandwiched between two large and solid polarization filter sheets angled to each other under 19 degrees angle. These filters are physically glued to crystal's panel from both sides and by extracting them we can get two polarization sheets of the screen size, at least in theory. There are loads of old broken used LCD screens available out there. Some can be purchased very cheaply, some was dumped already. I won't tell you how to get one, but there are still millions of them out there polluting the world. The one I used for this video was an old 22 inches large Yama PC screen that burned up after years of heavy use and I was planning to bin. I would like to point out that it's very relevant to the subject that cross-polarization technology applies to LCD screens only. So LED, plasma or OLED screens are made in a different way and don't utilize cross-polarization technique. Therefore, there are no polarization filter sheets used in their production and as far as I know, no polarization filters can be recycled from this. There are a few things to consider before anyone proceeds with the recycling. 
we should be very careful and expect some sharp parts that can cut our hands, especially that liquid screen glass can be very sharp after it breaks. This is why I would strongly suggest protective gloves, but also protective goggles. I made a mistake and I didn't use goggles as I didn't expect how fragile and how sharp the liquid glass can be when it cracks under pressure. Basically, if damaged, it breaks into long, sharp needles, which just jump out in random directions. I would also recommend a lot of patience if you want to get the polarization filter to come off undamaged and really take your time trying to separate sheets from the glass as they can be really pretty well glued. After separated from the crystal panel, we need to spend even more time removing the glue, which I can guarantee won't be an easy task to do. The easiest way to check polarization filters is to cross-polarize them, what means illuminate the light through them while one is angled 90 degrees to the other one. The other way to check polarization filter is to look through it at any LCD screen and rotate it. At certain angle it should block all the light from behind and appear black to us. Anyway, I consider my polarization sheet recycling as a total failure as I didn't expect how fragile the sandwiched liquid crystal glass really is and how strongly filter is going to be glued into it. 
I'm really lucky I didn't cut my fingers, but what's even more important, I didn't get any glass shutter into my eyes. Next time I would definitely use goggles and I recommend it to anyone doing this type of things. The final lesson I learned from it is that nothing is really 100% free and proper recycling needs a lot of actual work, proper tools and time. With some patience, experience and proper tools it is very possible to recycle a large undamaged polarization sheet from the screen and make it useful on a daily basis. And even after I failed, I still managed to get some stripes of polarization filter I can use on my small LED light panels to polarize the light for some of my future research. Unfortunately, recycled polarization sheets I managed to recycle constantly self-roll in, if not attached to something. Some glue left and affects the light and limits filter transparency, and I really struggled to clean it. Maybe if I would use some more reactive substance to dissolve the glue in more aggressive way without damaging the filter, the result would be better, but maybe next time. If I expect a reliable quality polarization tool I don't need to fight with, I would prefer to purchase a clean and brand new polarization sheet from some reliable source and this is what I do on a daily basis. LCD recycling isn't easy at all, but it's an option to consider. I think that if anyone wants to get polarization sheet for some experiments and even if just have an old or damaged LCD screen to bin with all recycling safely precautions followed, I would still consider polarization filter sheets recycling. I'm sure that if I would spend more time, be more patient and watched my own video before, with a few more attempts I would certainly succeed. Anyway, I have learned a lot making this video and I didn't even harm myself, which I consider an another big success. It's good to know there is an actual option to get large but still affordable polarization filter sheet out there. I really hope someone finds this video useful and helpful in avoiding mistakes I already made. If you like it, please drop a comment, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Big thanks to all of you who did it already. See you next time. Bye!